The Blandian Sergeant is the main infantry option of Blandia. I think most players tend to forget about this unit because quite frankly it doesn't seem overly terrible or good. As any other infantryman, the role of the Sergeant is to tank projectiles, fight infantry and most importantly be a reliable source of medicine experience. The most iconic equipment of this unit is in my opinion the cape. A lucky two thirds of the Sergeants are going to be granted a legionary cape. That by itself brings 16 body armor. The other Sergeants have been naughty and Lord Darter decided that the only way to set them right was taking the cape away from them. They get nothing. No even a scarf. Since we're talking about capes, the sergeants bring an average body armor of 44.7, with two out of the three templates consisting of the aforementioned legionary cape and the white tabard over male oberk that looks strikingly red, while the second template will only bring the white tabard over male. I know it's called white because it has the same color of the kingdom banner, but why don't they just call it tabard over male at this point? Madness. Anyway, this will rank the sergeant in last place when it comes to body armor, a good 5 points behind 7. When talking about the head armor, the sergeant ranks 6th, with a value of 46 brought by the wizard helmet over laced coif. When considering head plus body, the sergeant will rank last with a value of 91, but they will gain 1 position when considering all armor types. When talking about the equipment, since this unit has 3 templates, let's start with the items that are always there. The first is the shield. The reinforced Oaken Kite is a 128 length and pretty durable shield that covers the tanking duties quite well. While the second item they always bring is the long fine steel spear. A 78 run speed, 32 damage with a length of 235. Like any guy that brags about their 8 incher, the sergeants are simply overcompensating for something. The spear is way too long to be of any real use for the banner of the AI that you will more than likely watch in abusement or horror as they miss any horseman that comes remotely close, or simply bounce off their armor because they stay too close to their targets. In an eventual melee situation where these guys get stuck using these instead of the one and the weapon, they are as good as dead. No way they can land a strike with their length and their abysmal speed. Now let's talk about the ever-changing sidearms. The sergeants will bring two good sidearms. These are the Fury Fullered Cavalry Mace and the Spiked Battle Axe. These two weapons, despite being a mace and an axe, work in quite a similar manner and are good for similar reasons. They both have very good swing speed, they pack some decent raw damage and are both short. And then there is the Rigged Arming Sword, given by the way to the same guys who like the cape. Their third is probably having a laugh somewhere. <laughs> Now that we are done with the equipment, let's talk about the juicy test and stats. Overall, the sergeant ranked 6th, with a KD of 4.68 and a KD of 60.18 versus low tiers. Ended up losing 622 units out of 3500, or roughly 18%, and ended up with a casualty chance versus low tiers of 3.52%. Also, they ended the careers of 2914 custom battle soldiers. Now, let's go ahead and list the pros and cons. This unit has the worst armor set out of all infantry units. Two out of three of their sidearms are good, but one of them is not quite there. The shield is good and does its job well. They like any form of versatile weapon like javelins or axes, making them very one-dimensional. Their spear is one of the worst per foot units. Their melee performance overall is quite awful. I give this unit a 0.5 out of 5. If you are fine with dismounting and using cavalry as main infantry, there is close to no reason to bring these guys in the Vlandian army, and there is even less of a reason to seek them for a composite one. Still, a more valuable option than the vanguards or the vulgars for 1.8. These guys have never really impressed me in any way, and Vlandia took an hard punch in the gut from 1.8. Be ready, because you might not like what's coming up next. As always, let me know what troop or faction you want me to cover next, and thanks for both watching and reaching 400 subs.